Hey filmmakers and hey Premiere Pro users, it's Dom again, the resident editor here at Olofemi, and I have a question for you. Have you ever been typing in Premiere Pro and realized that you didn't know how to spell something? Before now, it was all up to you to know exactly how many S's were in Sassafras, or how to spell this word. Spell that? I don't even think I can pronounce that, but I'm gonna give it a try. Formaldehyde tetra formaldehyde tetramethyl amido fluor fluorumum. man english is hard premiere didn't have a spell check like you have in say microsoft word or even your emails well guess what i introduce you to premiere spell check now before i continue josh wanted me to take a moment to let you know that he super appreciates all of you team olafemi channel gang when you comment he reads them every single one let me start with a shout out to Poster Blue, who says he's going to use our secret one click rotoscope technique to make a lot of money with future clients. You will not regret it. Another shout out to Untapped Hip Hop TV for being a seven time commenter. Josh told me to say, he loves you, bro. And also, big respect for noticing the absence of Josh's longtime partner in crime, the beautiful H1 Mike. It's a sad day, and it pains me to have to share this news, but the Olofemi Channel Classic, the long-serving workhorse of a microphone, the H1, has officially been retired. But you know what? We have to move on. We have to remember that little champion and get on with our lives. And what's not a better way to do that than honoring that faithful little legend by looking up microphone digital products on our other loyal friend, Envato Elements. Microphone stock videos, photos, graphics, there's even 3D microphones. Searching through Envato's trusty library of 1 million of the best digital products is sure to help us find exactly what we're looking for. You can get your first month for only $9, and I'm glad they exist because I've already used some stock footage from their massive library in this video. Tetramethylamidofluor... I give up. I give up. Premiere Spellcheck was only available in Premiere Pro Beta, but I've downloaded version 22.1.2 and I can confirm the Spellcheck is present. Once you're inside the program, with your sequence open and ready to go, click on the Type tool here and click anywhere in the program monitor. Let's tap something simple like, Mary had a little lamb. Now over here, let's type, my name is Dom, I'm from Olofemi. And yes, you probably already noticed it, but I spelled lamb wrong. Hold that thought though, we'll get to that in a second. First, go up to a window and click text. This will bring up the text panel. Now, click on the graphics tab. And voila, we have both of our titles from the sequence represented here in the text panel. And this is super important. Go over to the three dots in the top right corner and make sure that check spelling is enabled. A little bonus tip. In the same three dot menu, go over to spell check settings and make sure you choose the appropriate language for the text you'll be using. So far, it seems like only English is supported, but I'll change this from English Caribbean to English United States. Now, looking at our text, you'll see this red squiggly line underneath lamb. Knowing you've spelt it wrong, you can simply double click and change the spelling manually. But what's particularly special about this feature is that if you right click, you'll actually be given some options as to what the correct spelling might be. That's pretty useful and saves you having to hunt for the proper spelling outside of Premiere Pro. Lastly, if we head over to the second text we created, you can see that Premiere thinks that Olufemi is spelled incorrectly too. This is going to be common with things like surnames, brand names, or anything else that's not spelt the usual way. To fix this, we simply right click and click Learn Olufemi. This will add it to the dictionary, and next time we come across Olufemi in a title, Premiere will recognize it as a correct spelling. You can also manually enter words you want it to know by going to the three dots, going to Spellcheck Settings, entering a word here for the dictionary, and then telling it to learn that word. And that's it guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, support the channel by signing up for Envato Elements, and as Josh always says, Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always remember to keep it chill.